your opening statement on Yeah, that? I told the guys after, uh, I love winning on senior day. Uh, we recognize those guys, we appreciate them, and then we celebrate with them. I told them I love winning on Rooney. It's our first time here this year, and it's great to, to get the win on Rooney. And I told them last, I love winning with the Dukes. And uh, it's a great bunch of kids, and um, we started off a little bit sluggish, but uh, I think they answered what I wanted was to play with detail, and we eventually got to that. Um, I know you don't like talking about it, but we'll just start right away. 150 career wins, what's that mean to you? And it means that uh, I've had a lot of good football players here at Duquesne and a lot of good coaching staff and uh, great support. And I've been here for a long time and been fortunate to be here at this place. And uh, it's very nice um, to, to get to that level. But, you know, as I tell the players, it's just the next one is the most important. And so I'll enjoy this, this one here this evening. Questions for Coach? You had Jordan under center for at least the first three quarters. What did you like with the decision making he had and having that opportunity today? He did some good things that might not be, you might not notice um, if you're sitting in the stands. For us, he did some nice checks um, after snap decisions. Um, he did some good things, but you could tell he's a little bit rusty because he hasn't been in that speed level. He's been practicing a lot and doing a good job. Um, so he was a little rusty on a couple things, but he got acclimated, uh, started the ball started coming out of his hand, and he was making those reads that we needed him to make. How happy do you are you with where the defense is at at this point, considering what happened last week, and then what were we able to do this week? Um, you know, how pleased are you with? with they're, they're coming along really, really good. They're staying healthy um, for the most part. And uh, when a guy goes down, they're training their guys to play the second level and the third level and stepping up. And they're believing in the system. Coach Jacobs and the staff has done a really good job. I feel very comfortable with them right now. I'm very happy with where they're at progression-wise. With the rush defense as well, how, how critical has that been? Yeah, it's huge. you got some veterans on that line. And then you, know, you, you even have some young guys, but they've got some talent and jump. You know. Uh, that they use their explosiveness to get off the ball and make some plays and force some plays. Are you impressed with where Luke Miller is at this point for a, a sophomore? Yeah, really happy. I, I mean, we knew he was a really good football player, and then he, you know, he transferred here and he suffered the knee injury and he's had to get through a lot. But I knew if there was anybody who could do it, it was him. He's such a positive young man, and um, yes, very happy with his ability and what he's doing. I mean, all day, you guys were dominating the line of scrimmage. I mean, you outgained, you outran um, West Virginia Western, and it was like 250 to 11. What do, you, what do you think helped with both the offensive and defensive line dominating the line of scrimmage for you guys today? I, I think they're starting to get confidence. You know, they, they battled those first two games, big challenges playing the, the FBS teams, and, um, and last week started to get better with the running game, and they're getting confidence in running the football. And then when you practice against each other, both sides of the ball get better. And so um, we're building some depth on the offensive line. Uh, we had it on the defensive line. Uh, there's some real battles in practice, which helps us continue to get better. And I think that's helping our confidence and believing in what we're doing. For a guy like Jermaine, who really stepped up with his two touchdowns, his first two as a Duke, just how does that keep him going? And how nice is it? But each game, it's been somebody different on that offensive end. Yeah, that's great. I'm really happy for Jermaine because, you know, he came and he, got, he was injured last year. And he's been fighting through some things uh, to get acclimated, to get healthy, uh, get his chances. Um, so I'm really happy for him. And it's great that we're able to spread that around and have different weapons. I know Joe Isabella here was nursing a little bit injuries early in the season, and he's starting to come on. I don't know what his stats were. I just know that. He catches critical balls in critical situations, and we trust him, and he's smart, and he runs the right routes. So really happy for him. And Teddy was nursing a little bit today, um, so I think he backed off. We backed off him a little bit. Got some other guys in, got some reps. You always say Duke stick together. When you have that rain delay, and it's so humid, and there's so many stoppages, how 
much as an as emphasis like that put to the test and how did you like the response? Yeah, it was and I liked it a ton. Uh, once we told them, hey, we're gonna be minimum half hour, um, they just relaxed, um, hung out together. We do a lot of team building things and um, then it got extended, you know, some more and, and they're, they're looking at me and going, Coach Dukes adjust, we'll be all right, we'll figure it out. Once we get out on the field and get warmed up, we're ready to go. I was pushing them a little bit because I didn't like to start. I thought we were a tad bit sluggish. I could be wrong, but I had a sense that we were a little bit sluggish to start off. And I don't want to start any football game that way. You spoke to the ref at the two minute warning in the second quarter about the roughing the the, the penalty. Just what was the explanation you were given? He said he, he, he when he dove to block, he ended up on his plant leg, and that's in general when you're going to get the personal foul. Uh, C.J. Barnes got his first interception of the season today, second of his career. Just seeing a senior make a play like that on his senior day, just how does that make you feel as a coach? And then that play specifically, just what did you see? On the phones, we were all ecstatic that it was C.J. that got the pick, you know, because he's pretty much known for his run fits and his hits. Um, and for him to get that, we were happy as could be, you know, for a guy that's been here. I, he's, I, he might have started four years. I think he played a ton as a freshman. Um, so he's been playing every year, and for him to only have one before this, we were, it, we were right away on the headsets. All the coaches were really happy with CJ. Speak about it being the home opener and being back at Rooney Field, fans, senior day, just all of the extra stuff today. Uh, it was awesome. It was just awesome to be here at home, get in the home routine, practice here, sleep in our own beds, get up, breakfast here, relax, crank it up, get ready, recognize, honor the seniors and their parents. Um, it's a great atmosphere. I just talked to a couple of recruits. I said, how do you like the game? They said, coach, it just felt like we're somewhere else, like in this nice little place watching football game. It doesn't seem like we're like in the middle of the city or anything. They said, just, it's just an awesome little place. It's a great venue. And all the parents, senior parents, um, you know, and then we we recognize the you know, honorary captain today, Mike Gorsey, who's suffering with ALS, and our prayers go out to him and his family. It was great to see him and some of his teammates were here from that nine, early 90s class. And they were the class that won the first FCS conference championship. And I told the team that last night. And they appreciate that. We went F FCS, won double A non scholarship in 93 and 95. We won the championship. And that class was recruited to do that, and they, they did it. And so the, our guys respect that. And they all, you know, they went up and, and saw Mike and dapped him up and said, We're praying for you. So, with the conference games living now, what's the mindset? What's the confidence level like? What, how are you guys feeling going into this? I mean, we, we won our last two games, so we feel good about that, and we'll celebrate that for a day here. And now we have a bye week. So we have to be careful that, sure, we're going to enjoy it, but we have to go work and get a lot of work done here in this week to get prepared for the conference. It's a, it's a really good time for us. Uh, heal up, get ready, and then we have a home game here too um, in two weeks, and we're looking forward to it. Anything, any cause for concern with Darius, or was it just giving him some time? And he was uh, in concussion protocol where um, he didn't make, you know, the number of days and the thing, but he's on his way, you know. He threw in uh, warm-ups this morning. He's ready to, if, if you ask him, he'd have been on the field, you know, so. For you also, Mickey, we talked about his adjustment to being the D coordinator. How have, has, do you think he's found that confidence with these results and just finding familiarity even further with everything? It was great that he was here last year with the guys you know, as, as D-back coach. So he's familiar with the guys that were here and understood what he wanted to do with them. And he, he changed the system up. I let him change and do the things he wants to do. He, he's been a great study over at Pitt. He was up at Buffalo for a little bit. He learns a lot of football. Uh, he learned it when he was here off Coach Ofar and his staff, you know. And so he's putting that all together for a young guy. He's doing a really good job. And he'll admit to you he makes mistakes. He's in my office a lot asking me about things. We work really well together, and he's got a veteran on the other side, Anthony Doria, who's been our offensive coordinator. And they battle each other. You know, they go back and forth. You know, I'm going to run this. Okay, I'll run this. And then it's like I have to 
be the peacemaker a little bit. But <laughs> it's good stuff. It's all good stuff, you know. All good. Thanks, Coach.